Hello you filthy savages, it's your ferocious host with the most likely to be the savage and I'm back with another reaction video. Today I will be reacting to F is for Family Season 4 Episode 6. Let's jump right in. Having a baby is the most natural process in the universe. More natural than taking a shit. A rectomological blooming that hinges on our ability to relax and breathe. And through that relaxation comes peace and a oneness with nature. Why the fuck was I ever born? I ask myself the same question sometimes. God damn it! Fucking God and gravity teaming up on me! Having a day, huh? A day? I'm having a life. My whole family hates me. And to top it off, Sue made me buy the fucking Taj Mahal of cribs. I swear to God, what would she be doing if she wasn't wasting money? Wasting money? Like your set of 12 Colt Luger beer steins? They're collector's items, Susan! They were the last ones with lead paint! I hope Colt Luger dies in that Mexican jail. <laughs> well, I hope your hero dies too! Who is it, the laundry machine? Oh, keep digging that hole! Oh, I will! Believe you me, I will see you in China! You mean share my feelings? You sound like one of those weirdos from Sue's pregnancy class. Ooh, feelings! What's happening to my body? My I'm body. crying all the time, but I have no tangible problems. Meanwhile, my husband is working himself into an early fucking grave! Calm down, Jesus. I'm just trying to help. You want to help? Learn French. Why'd you get a new crib anyway? You have a perfectly good one right here. Sue's friend, Madame Overy, says it's a death trap. What does she know? Oh, my God. <sighs> eh, take a couple of whacks to get through a real kid's neck. I will be there this week to help paint sets for your play. Thanks, but I hate the play now. Amy's the star, and I'm playing convict number four. He doesn't even have a name. Maureen, life is about making the most of opportunities. A while back, I lost a promotion to a man I had no respect for, but I didn't get discouraged. I played by the rules, and I bided my time. And then one day, that guy walked into a propeller. My point is, sometimes people get shredded. And then it becomes your time Jesus. to shine. Till then, you be the best convict number four you can be. One time, a dude got into a and car accident, so I got to take his position numbers. at my security <laughs> job, so we'll which was higher three, pay. Four, two, so, six, sometimes people also get hit by cars. Kevin, I just insulted you. Hey, darling. Christ, I'm getting whiplash from these mood swings. Sweetie, you shouldn't be out of bed. Come on, let's get those feet up before your ankles get any more bulbous. Frank, I feel great. Aren't you excited that we're going to Lamaze? Yeah, yeah. And if we're good, maybe the Lamazes will come to us. No, Frank, Lamazes is the birthing classes I told you about last night. You said you'd go to them with me. Oh, yeah. Oh, you have such a good memory. <laughs> All right. Sign us up. Can't wait to go with you to your birthing classes. Oh. Oh, this is gonna be fun, Frank. I'll be awake through all of it, and you'll be there to support me for the natural labor that could go on for days. Once my water breaks, you'll start timing my contractions. I'll have to try different positions. On my knees, or on my side, or while I'm standing or squatting. It's time to start pushing when my cervix is fully Dilated. Oh, you got a filthy mouth. <coughs> Wait. It's so good to see that you. That looked like that coughing kid me. <laughs> I'm Samantha. You must be Frank. Fr Fr Frank Murphy. Does the female vagina make you uneasy? No, I'm just a little uncomfortable coming face to face with one. I can vouch for that. Oh, Frank don't like giving head. Effleurage massage helps ease the contractions as your partner prepares for labor. Being touched by a loved one has a transplendent effect on inner harmony. Frank, gently massage Sue's belly like a dolphin twirling with a current. That ought to do it. Something tells me there wasn't a lot of physical affection in your life as a child. No, 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 you're wrong. I got a birthday handshake every year from my mom. Patrick, why don't you show Frank how to sensually connect? You touch my mom. woman and I'll cut <laughs> your throat. Bloodly. Oh no, 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 no! Back off, Patty. I could be transplanted. You fucking creep. Here, a life begins.
start having contractions, that's when I breathe and relax and stay on my feet until I pass my mucus plug. Hey, sounds like a party. Most for the special election open at 7 a.m. Rosie, listen, I I'm really sorry I didn't help you with your speech last week. I was all... Hey, that guy on TV looks like you if you were fatter. That is me. TV adds 30 pounds and takes some hair away. Great God in heaven, grant your children the power to make oh, your Jesus. next album. I like that name, Chauncey. Mayor Anthony Tangenti and his corrupt cronies have neglected this neighborhood for too long. Now, if you elect me, I will dedicate my life to making your life better. I will close the fire hydrants. I will make sure the basketball hoops in our parks have nets. Swish. And and ribs. Ooh. And I will fix all the stoplights that are stuck on the yellow. I have a dream that one day. Oh, Lordy, Lordy. It's a grape soda. And it worked. The results are apparently official. Chauncey Roosevelt was certified as the victor at 9 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> he finna cry. 38 minutes ago, thus becoming the first black alderman in city history. Hug your kids, folks. America died tonight. <laughs> Rest in peace, and motherfucker. Any of the two races who knows our community deserves better. I am touched and humbled by your faith in me. And I won't let you down. Georgia, I love you. Smokey Greenwood, none of this would have happened without you. No, oh, don't say my name. <laughs> They're looking for me. I bet they are. Finally. She took my advice too well. If you can electrocute a dog, you can electrocute a person. Oh, Alfred P. Southwick, you've given the death penalty new life. Well, that was wonderful. Now, let's bring up our no small parts actors to rehearse their very small parts. I think she's talking about us. I am convict number four, but my real name is Horace Lee Chapman. Let currents of justice course through your body. For I, Alfred P. Hold on now. I am innocent of the crime for which I was condemned. Doubt it. Shoving a flaming hot poker up an old uh -uh. bastard's chip kitchen. <laughs> what the hell kind of play is this? You can't change the script. Now be a good girl and get executed. I was just following my dad's advice. Forgive me, shit. Oh. Oh. natural. None of these kids are having children. Which one is your boy? Ball Bricker Murphy. With the giant head. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like the jacuzzi room at the Quint City Motor Inn. You're disgusting. At least I'm not telling the whole neighborhood about mucus plugs and afterbirth. Oh, Marie, I love when you're on your high horse. Saddle up, cowboy. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Uh, well, I'm going to do what Coach Fitzy wants me to do. He likes me. I don't have to like you. I raised you. There's Billy Boy, my star. And just three months ago, I couldn't have cared less if you died in that train accident. Damn. <sighs> Fucking kids. They don't appreciate me. Never a kind word. Hey, Dad. Ah, don't patronize me, you son of a bitch. What? I was coming to thank you for your advice. I used the encyclopedia, like you said, and I wrote a whole song the about the encyclopedia. With two equal shafts. And a mast as tall as a steeple. A catamaran is a pleasure craft for two to sixteen people. Okay, and then you go, catamaran, set sail across the ocean. Nah, catamaran, catamaran don't forget your suntan lotion. Nah, the Mediterranean. She's not black, if that's what you're worried about. Racist. Racist? Oh, what the fuck? I don't care if she's black, white, brown, green, or purple. You'd freak the fuck out if she was purple. Everybody would. It's weird. You're such a dick. I'm not the one calling people racist. 
And I just helped a black guy do a thing. I'll tell you when I'm I being racist. There's another kid into the world who's gonna end up hating me. What's the fucking point? <laughs> what happened to make Sue so mad at you? Uh, you didn't read the literature? I read the literature. Frank, this is a bright neon sign screaming you are not emotionally available for Sue or your <gasps> baby. Or maybe it's a sign that I'm busting my ass all day to feed three ungrateful kids. It's not about you. It's about her. I should get a fucking medal for putting up with your bullshit for as long as I did. Paying good money to listen to you teach my wife how to breathe. Like he just fucking discovered it, and it's not something every person in this room has been doing involuntarily for, I don't know, fucking ever? Frank, this is something I believe in. You didn't even read the brochure. You latch, you latch on to you. some new the bullshit every season, bitch. Shut up. Gravel from the driveway. Frank, the family would break down and go broke if Frank so got to, if Frank broke down every there. fucking time He's he had a crisis. They're all mad. <sighs> the whole world hates Frank Murphy. Well, your crib's finished, you big baby. Wait, thank you. <laughs> Give it a crack. <laughs> Get her up, you poor spider! <laughs> uh oh. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's all over, so I don't have issues. I wouldn't go that far, but you say so. One hug and forty years of resentment is fixed for good? This won't last. It's gonna blow up again, and it'll be all on me to pick up the pieces. <sighs> I'm sorry to burden you with this, but you're the only one I can talk to. What do I do with a screwed up husband like this? I might not be the best person. This bitch! With two evil chefs and That's crazy, y'all. <laughs> this was a real good episode. Check the description box down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The ferocious host with the most is signing off.